When we were in the wombs of our mother and we prayed, we were so happy. We were so excited, filled with joy, because we were coming into this world which you have created for us. But when we came into this world and we saw what was happening, we saw all the different changes, not what we expected. Somehow or the other, we lost that joy, O oh mother. Help us to regain such peace. Manusha Rubina Shaya. We realize, O oh Mother, it is because of the, our own selves that we have caused all these changes and brought about all the displeasures of life. Hey, Ma, help us. Help us to regain such happiness, O oh Mother. Oh,
world, Mother Earth, with the peace she so much needs, O oh, devotees. Om Shanti, Om. Om Shanti, Om. Om Shanti, Om. Om Shanti, Sit 
and join in moments of devotion. So what we will do, we will do our havan as we do every Sunday morning when we pray for a positive change, the rise of good things in the world. So of course, if you have all your havan ingredients and everything set up, you can kindly join me this morning as we begin with our yekya. First of all, we take the water, we wash our hands for purity. Where there is purity, there will always be divinity. Om Hastapakshalanam Samarpayami Shri Govindai Bhyo Namo Namaha Take the water in your right palm devotees and let's sip this water. Let our thoughts always be pure. Om Amrito Pasranamasi Swaha Om Amrita Pidhanamasi Swaha Om Satyam Yashaha Shri Mahi Shri Shetam Swaha Wash your hands again. Om Hastapakshalam Samarpayami Shri Govindai Bhyo Namo Namaha Take the water now in your left palm and let's ask the Lord to be for good health in every part of his being. Om Vangami Asi Astu Om Nasurumi Pranu Astu Om Akshurumi Chakchur Astu Om Kalnurumi Shodram Astu Om Bahurumi Badam Astu Om Urvurumi Ojur Astu Om Arishani Mirgani Tanustanvami Sahasantu Do not take your health, my dear devotees, for granted. Let's ignite Agni Devda, like the fire. Om Bhura Bhava Swaha Om Bhura Bhava Swaha Dhyavriva Bhumana Pritaviva Varimana Tasyaste Pritavi Deva Yajni Prishti Agnim Manadam Manadayadani Now we'll find the fire together. Om Urbudhya Swaragani Pratijagrihi Tvamishha Purti Samsri Jetamayamsha Asmin Sadhaste Adhyurta Dashmin Vishwadeva Yajmanasya Siddhata Of course, when you hear the word Swaha, we'll offer our first piece of dhup. Om Ayanta Yidimayatama Jata Virasti Nidhya Svavardha Svachida Varghaya Chasman Prajaya Prashuri Vibrahma Varchasi Annadina Samidhaya Swaha Idam Magnai Jata Virasi Idam Namam Second piece Om Samidhaganim Dovasyata Gdite Bodhaya Tatiti Asmin Habiya Jodana Swaha Idam Magnai Jata Virasi Idam Namama Offer a drop of ghee Om Susamidhaya Jodhase Om Susamidhaya Jodhase Gritam Dibram Jodhana Agnai Jata Virasi Swaha Idam Magnai Jata Virasi Idam Namamam After the final piece of two Om Tantva Samira Vyangiro Gritti Navarhaya Masi Brihashrochaya Vishaya Swaha Idam Magnai Angira Se Idam Namamam Now you will continue offering a ghee Five times every time you hear the word Swaha Om Ayanta Yidimayatama Jata Virasti Nidhyaswa Varghaswa Jira Varghaya Chahasman Prajaya Prashurvi Brahma Varchase Anna Dina Samidhaya Swaha Idam Magnai Jata Virasi Idam Namama 
And he says, Bandava Guru Pal, he bounced to the lotus like feet, the dust particles of the Guru. Kripa Sindhu, for you are an ocean of mercy, O Lord, Nar Rup, on this very earth, you are Nar, the Lord, Rup, you are incarnation of the Lord on this very earth, and you have instilled this knowledge in me, Rup Hari, you are that form of Hari. Maha Mohata Mapunja, Jasu Bachan, Ravi Karanikar, he bows to the Guru. And he says, O Guru, by your grace and your mercy, by your wisdom, your teachings, your leadership, your guidance, I will be able to disclose the beautiful stories of Prabhu Sri Ram. This morning's Katha is coming from various pages of the Ramayana and the various Khans as well. And my Katha today is talking about influence, the influence of the world, of everything around us. The question is, is influence contagious? You know like how we have these viruses and the flu and everything going around, they are very contagious. Is this word that is described as influence, is it contagious? Can it bring us success to rise or can this very form of influence be detrimental in the end result before we do so i will ask my dearest crystal g to lead us in the realms to be wherever you're logging in from this morning i want you to imagine prabhu Sri Ram is seated in front of you and sita is there and you're having this image, you're seeing this picture, but you can't really describe what it is. Let go, Swami Tulsidas Ji, help us this morning to bring the beautiful form of Prabhu Sri Raman Sita Devi in our truest vision. Sri Ram Chandra Kripal Bhajaman, the Lord who is described in so many forms, so many ways, that Lord who is called a Raja, but that very Lord who is called Prabhu, who is called Bhaya, who is called Beta, that Ram today we bring in our focus.
touching, surrendering to the Lord in such a beautiful devotional way. Prabhu, this whole book is about you. And when we analyze your life and we analyze this book of Goswami Tulsidas Ji and also Valmiki, although you are told, we are told that you are that Prabhu Sri Ram and you came onto this earth to live a regular simple life like each and every one of us today, just to remind us all that this is the journey of life and you taught us what life will show us will bring to us separation, death, heartache, sicknesses, being led astray by negative influences, all is impacted by this beautiful book.
being influenced by good people in the world. And remember, I started by asking a question. Is this word that is described as influence, it is contagious? Is it contagious? This morning, he uses an analogy to remind us of the influences of everything around us. We begin by looking in Barakan of Ramachandramanas where he's going to describe to us what is described as dust particles. And he wants us to use our imagination and imagine that all of us are dust particles. We are here, there and everywhere. How can we be influenced? Thank <laughs> you. 
Now let's see the words of Tulsi Nashi now. What does he say? Panit Manoj is saying today on this beautiful Sunday that we are dust particles and he's calling us parrots. Yes, I am. The words of Tulsi. Now look how the Lord uses these two analogies, these two examples, and look how he talks about the influence, the powers of influence. He says, now he says, each and every one of us, you and I, all of us con concluded together. He says, we are all part and parcel of the very dust particles which he's mentioning here in the Ram Charitramanas. Now look what he says. Gagana Charai Raja Pavana Prasanga. He says, now, if the dust particles on the floor, on the earth, on the surface, gets influenced by wind, gets overpowered by the wind, what happens? Pavana Prasanga. Tulsidanshi says, what happens? The dust particle starts to rise. No? You ever see that? When a strong wind blows and you see the dust particle just flies up in the air? The very dust particle, ki chahi milahi, ni chajalasanga. Now he says the very dust particles, if influence is overpowered by low flowing water, like in the dream, like the sewer and all these things, what happens to the very dust particles? It becomes Nij Jalatanga. Tulsidarji says it becomes mud. Now, Pandit Manoj, you tell me about wind, you tell me about um, dust, now you tell me about mud. Look at the influence and look at the wisdom of Tulsidarji. He says, the wind is represented by divine people, good people. And the more you allow yourself to, associate, to be associated with such good people in your life, what happens? You will rise eventually. A wise man wants you to be brilliant. A divine soul wants you to be happy. An enlightened guru wants you to be filled with knowledge and wisdom and enlightenment for you to rise in the world and become someone not the world will look up at you but the world will have the greatest of respect and honor for you and the wise man wants you to have such dignity and self-respect for yourself so that when the world looks at you they say and they will say to the world there goes a great man there lives a great man. That is a great man. And when I say man, I mean women included. And hear what he says. The very dust particles, when associated with low flowing water, the low flowing water now represents the negative influences of life. You know, there are people in the world, believe it or not, who does not want to see you happy. Let me tell you, we wish we can say differently, but this is the picture of this world in which we live in today. I'm not going to tell you about the crap story at the barrel. You know that quite well. You rise and the negative influence pulls you down. The mud, the, the low flowing water rather, pulls you down to the lowest destroys your self-esteem, destroys your dignity, your character, and what happens? You become like the low flowing water now. You become like mud. But I'll tell you a little secret here. When you read Tulsidashi's words, the very mud you can use, and you can use it in a positive way. Let every negative influence make you stronger and make you become somebody better every day. And allow such negativity to allow you to rise. When the negative influence comes, you must use that as a positive influence in your life. Why? Because you are better. You know better. 
You know who you are, you know what you are, and you know what you're capable of accomplishing. Now he says, now remember, the wind is good people, good influence, positive people. The low flowing water are the negative people in the world. Stay away from them. Stay far away. As a matter of fact, I'll share this with you. There's a beautiful quote. If me can find one quick. And it says, ah, here it is. Stay away from negative people. They have a problem for every solution. Look at the words of these great, this is Albert Einstein's words. Hmm? Stay away from negative people. They have a problem for every solution. Now if you stay close to positive people, the good people, what happens? They will always have a solution for your very problems in the world. Such is the influence that we involve ourselves in today in the world, devotees. Now look what he says. Sadhu wa sadhu. Sadhana sukhasari. I always like this line of Tulsi Dasji's. Ramayana. Sumi rahiramu dehi gani gali. Now he uses a parrot. Now you have to imagine. I mean, didn't we say quack quack before? No? That dog, that dog, that dog song. That car, that is parrot. Yes. So the parrot now. What does a parrot do? A parrot is in a cage. Firstly, no, it's in a cage. And the parrot brings great delight to the world. The parrot entertains. That's no, it. And the parrot is an imitating animal. That whatever you teach this parrot, that's what this parrot will do. You teach the parrot for raise up your foot, you go raise up your foot. You teach the parrot for talk, the parrot will talk. You teach the parrot for fun, he or she fell, the parrot will find he or she fell. Now the parrot, the imitating animal, the Lord says, if you take that very parrot and you put it in the home of somebody like Kiran, who is described today as a sadhu, a wise man, an intellectual man, a brilliant man, a man who chants Ram, 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 Satya, Ram, 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 all day. What happens? Eventually, that very imitating parrot will begin to chant Ram, 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 Satya, Ram, Ram, Ram. Now, if you put that very part in an Assad who's home, a person like myself, who uses all kinds of indecent languages all day long, from morning to night, do you know what that parrot will start saying? Every single bad word that you can possibly think of. But you know what? And this is what. Um, this is what sometimes brings a question mark to me when I, when I think about this thing. You know when you go to somebody's house, there's somebody on parrot, and this parrot no for swear, use negative words. You know what they will say? They're entertained by this thing. They're happy, they're separated. You, you can forgive this parrot. No? And they tell the parrot, tell the parrot, we must go. And the parrot tells me exactly the words what I use at the house. And that is entertaining to the family, to those who are teaching this parrot such negativity in the world. So my dear sisters and brothers, my message to you today is be like that parrot, but associate yourself. Go to a home and be influenced by the positive people in the world who are going to teach you good things and who are going to allow you to see you for who you truly are. And stay away from the negativities and the negative people in the world because all they want to see is total displeasure in your life. You know, there's a beautiful song dedicated to the youth, to the children, or not only to the children, I think this should go for adults as well. Because 
we seem to get involved in these things over and over again. Hear what the song says. Now, Jawan Satyo Nina Mataro Mila Apas Mira Ho Or Puja Sadakaro Sadakat Kadanka Bajata Chala Bajata Chala The song reminds us, the song says, Oh man, do not get involved in negative gossiping in the world. Don't get involved in that. And that comes with negative influences. You know, people always tell you things and you get involved in it also. You get caught up in it. Rather than doing that, Guruji says, He uses the word puja in the sense of doing something that is positive, something that is beneficial, something that is going to help you to rise. He says, rather than getting involved in the negative influence and gossiping and all these things, get involved with positive people who wants to see positive things and positive outcomes in your life. Keep on ringing the bells and beating the drums of success. Because a day will come, O oh man, when you will be beneficial and you will enjoy such bliss and success in your life. So the song reminds us and the Chopai reminds us today. Associate with good people, positive people, and stay away from negative forces and negative people. Because we all want to rise in the world. But if you are influenced by negative people, Remember what I said. Remember who you are and what you are. And do not lose yourself. Do not lose your dignity and respect, self-respect for yourself. And use such negativity to make something positive out of your life. In our concluding Chopai for today, my dear brothers and sisters, let's turn to Ayodhya Khan of Ram Chitramanas. In this beautiful Chopai, Goswami Tulsidas Ji is going to tell us how influence can take over governance of our lives 
my dear sisters and brothers. Look how 
the entire picture of Ayodhya is going to change. Sunatu Bhat Mridu Anta Kathori. Tulsi Rashi says that Mandra's words were sweet to the ear like honey, but disastrous in its final result. The exact words of Goswami Tulsidasji. She went to Kaikahi and she says, Oh Kaikahi, Kaikahi Chedi Sudhi Ahahi Kinahi Swamini Kahi or Katham Mohi Kipahi. She says, Oh lady, oh wise woman, don't you remember the story that you told me one time? Are? What story? Kaikahi reminded her of a conversation that the two of them had one day. And my dear sisters and brothers, my dear devotees all, devotees of God, it were those soothing like words, honey like words, that Mantra whispered in the ears of Kaikahi that transformed Kaikahi's mind, her heart, her life and brought about great disastrous changes in her life, my dear sisters and brothers. The beautiful soul, our dear Kabir Das, I like what he says in this beautiful Doha. And I want you to listen very carefully. And he says, be careful of the words you use when you speak to people. Be careful of the words you use when you speak to people. And I strongly believe, and this is Pandit Manoj saying this today, not nobody else. This is my firm belief. That our words describe who truly we are as humans. I believe that strongly. Madhur Bachana Avashadhi serenity within this entire being, our soul, our entire life changes for the better. But when those very words, those harsh words, those negative words are uttered to people, my dear sisters and brothers, it is like bringing great pain and displeasure to one's being. So says the words of Kabir Das. And when Mantra was whispering these words to Kaikahi, it was like honey. But Kaik Mantra had her own purpose, her own karma. 
she had her own belief of what these words were truly. But I want to make a point today as I conclude that whatever word she was whispering in the ears of Kaikahi, I want you to know, devotees all, that we have the power to block those words from entering our minds. It defines us to being great individuals in the world. Remember what I said, let the negativity that enters the ears, let the negative forces, the negative vibes, the negative influences of life make you a stronger person. Because that's who we are in the world, my dear sisters and brothers. She uttered and she started to disclose these words to Kekahi. What were these words, my dear sisters and brothers? When we reach for our next satsang, we're going to continue this beautiful scene where Mantra now is going to whisper the words that brought great pain and displeasure to the entire city of Ayodhya. And remember what I said, Ayodhya represents our life, it represents our home. Be careful of who we let into our life and be careful who we let into our homes. Mere man ram basi Let the name of Ram always be in our life, in our homes. Let that be the positive influence that we need. Hey Ram, hey
positive change, devotees all. Be that positive energy, be that positive role model that will bring great delight and joy to everyone that you come in contact with. And with thoughts like that, devotees, we can all become better people in the process. Like the dust, we will rise. Like the parrot, we will recite words of great honor and respect and dignity. And my dear sisters and brothers, and if we become and build up our mind to being strong people, then remember, we can easily block the negativity out of our ears and do not allow them to interfere with our minds. This morning, as we conclude, once again, I want to say thank you to Kiran and Kevin Hirlal for doing our live stream this morning. And thank you to our dear Crystal G for joining us this morning in our satsang. We do hope and pray that we have brought some kind of hope and love in your homes this morning. And we do look forward to many more opportunities of such. Please join us back Tuesday evening where Mataji Lal and her team will be here to do Anuman Chalisa. And for those who are celebrating birthdays within this week, we want to say happy birthday to all Benji Savitri, Leonanan from St. Lucia, my cousin, happy birthday, my dear. Baiji Kelvin from New Jersey, happy birthday to you. Uh, Navita G from Minnesota will be celebrating her birthday. Happy birthday, my dear. Daniel right here from Queens, happy birthday. Navin G from Minnesota, happy birthday, my brother. Suniti G from Long Island will be celebrating her birthday. Happy birthday. Auntie Tara, happy birthday to you, my dear. Um, our very own Rajesh is celebrating his birthday today. And three very special people close to my heart celebrating their birthday this week. Kevin Hirala, Kevin Prasad, and Brianna. They are the internet of the Shanti Pawan Mandir, which brings us a world of information. You like that? Huh? Happy birthday to all. And to Auntie Pinky, thank you so much for sponsoring. As we conclude today, this song is for all the birthday celebrants. And on a sad note, to our dear Bobby from Shakti Store on Liberty Avenue, he passed away yesterday, I am told. Very great young man, he was a lover of Guruji. Bobby, may your soul find peace. Unke rop ka nirala hai. This is our January Kirtan, so please sing along with us. Open your calendars if you don't have one yet. Phone a friend. Unke rop ka nirala hamari hi sahara Shri Ram hai piyala Shri Krishna hai zamana. Shri Ram hai piyala, Shri Krishna hai zamana.
accept truth to feel in our lives. Once again, God bless you. Thank you for everyone being here with me this morning. Have a safe, pleasant, and productive week ahead. And remember, if you need calendars, all the numbers are posted on our Facebook page as well. God bless you. Until we meet again, Prince Solo, Shri Ramachandra Bhagavan Ki Jai.